So the second part of Kirchhoff's law is KVL, and basically it's Kirchhoff's voltage law. And uh, if you go around a loop, a loop means a closed path, and you add up all the voltages, it has to add up to zero. Basically, if you have five volts, and it's divided up uh, among like five resistors, and they're all the same, each resistor is going to get one volt, one volt. So it's like going up the steps of a, of a building, fifth floor, and then you go back down. So by the time you get to zero, you close the loop. So it's going up and down. And so here, uh, usually to solve circuits with it, I would prefer to, you to first label the, the uh, resistors. And in this case, I'm going to consider that this is the direction of the current. So I'm going to label here the currents going into the positive side of the resistors, positive side of the voltage drops of the resistors, and I'm going to label it like this. And this is positive, this is negative, positive, negative. And the way to use Kirchhoff's voltage law, the simplest that I've found, is that you can um, write one equation for it. And I'm going to go around, usually starting on the top left, uh, bottom left of the circuit, if I find a minus, I'm going to write minus, and then the number that's here, it's 5. And now here it's plus. And this is going to be my voltage 1, voltage 2, voltage 3, and voltage 4. So plus V1, plus V2. Now look, I found a plus, plus 1 volt, plus V3, plus V4, equals 0. So this is basically my equation for, for Kirchhoff's voltage law. So it's the sum of V1 until V4 equals 4 volts. Because all these resistors are the same, I can demonstrate that the voltage, each one of those, is going to be 1 volt. So there's 1 volt to drop across each resistor. And the current's 1 milliamp across this whole circuit. Now this is a really simple circuit. In the next video, I'll show you how to uh, solve a slightly more complicated.